Hey guys, it's John, and I welcome back to, to and get the night started. another episode of Scrutinized. If you want to see previous parts in the series, there's a playlist link in the description. And if you want to see future parts in the series, too bad, because this is hopefully the last video. I'm going to be grinding out some normal mode, and we'll see if we can't beat this game. I've gotten to night seven before the recent giga nerf as Adam called it. He said that he made the game significantly easier, so we're gonna check it out. I haven't checked it out since that patch went live, but I've got my volume on 100, and we're gonna get moving on this, because apparently there are audio cues. He said that he made the audio cues much, much, much louder. To be honest, I have a not insignificant number of hours in this game, and I had no idea that there were even audio cues. They must have been really quiet before. Dennis Winkler, you're a shred. But yeah, if I come back and it seems like uh, I'm not being that talkative, that's because I've just settled in and I'm just doing the run. So, may not be a whole lot of talking in this video. But if something interesting happens, I'll be sure to say something as always. Alright, see you guys when I start making some progress. Ah! I almost went to bed just now. That would have been a mistake. It's at the end of night two. That would have got me killed. Kidnapper. Killing me while I sleep. What's crazy is like, while you sleep, like, what time is it right now? It's like 9.34. So you're telling me that over the next 11 hours, they don't kill you while you sleep? Really? But if you leave a light off before you go to bed, you die. Alright. I don't claim to know how these kidnappers work. They got some kind of moral code, I guess. Oh, this one's a good one. Lois Patterman. You can stop and read it if you want. Uh, basically... This guy's son is having nightmares where some evil woman comes into his room, sits and watches him sleep. And, uh, it's basically... It, it's a pretty good one. I was so distracted thinking about what is involved in the story that I failed the root kit. Anyway, so, the dad's not really sure. Let's just read it. Who cares? Let's just read it. Um, he usually runs to my room scared or he'll end up wetting the bed in terror. I always try to reassure him that it's nothing bad and that it'll go away, but just recently he brought me something that has me reconsidering. My son handed me a piece of paper that had cursive writing on it that said, I am real. It isn't my son's handwriting, it isn't mine, and it's not his babysitter's either. The night after that, I swore I heard his window slam shut. There was no one in his room or my house, but I've nailed the windows down and he's been sleeping with me for the past few nights. So yeah, I like the evil woman. She's good. We gotta wait for the error to end. Gonna get some more instant cracks. I've got 18 now. You would think that that would be enough. And I've never run out of instant rootkit cracks because I've never made it far enough to run out of them. Oh. I was about to say, there's definitely gonna be a light off. I don't, know if you, I don't know if I've said this before, I don't know if you guys know this, but Tanner can't spawn while you're away from the computer. There's been tons of evidence to show that. So sometimes when he shows up, when he shows up in the hallway, that's because he was active before then while you were on the computer. You know what? I'm gonna waste an instant crack here. Okay. Search history, grappling hook, lock picking techniques, breaking in techniques, stalking children, that's evidence. Text convos, mommy, I have found him. He looks just like him and it's him. I know it's him. Mom, I found, found him finally. You couldn't even keep your actual son safe. Don't make me think you found someone to replace him. Useless. So close, I was so close I could taste him. I'm going to take him home soon and put him to bed. 
I have it all. I know what I need and I have it. I just need him and then we can be together forever. Death is forever. That's some more evidence right there. Uh, actually, what I, do, what I forgot with this is that you can actually do this without the phone. Lisa Potter nut. I don't know why she has the word nut in her alias, but here she is. The hunt starts, the night is my playground. If parents really valued their children, they wouldn't make it so easy for someone like me to get to them. <laughs> I really have been missing my son lately. It would have been 11 years since he passed. 11 years of me looking for something or someone to fill that void he left. I won't be getting caught again anytime soon. I love seeing the look on their faces. Anyway, I like this case. So I thought I would highlight it for you guys. I know that uh, the last time I was like, let me highlight this case for them. Let me pause everything and highlight this case for them. It was the poop eater, so I'm sorry, okay? I heard the light turn off. By the way, there's a there's an audio cue for the light turning off. You most of the time you can only hear it if it's in the same room as you, but I'm going to double check. Oh wow. This one was off too. So I actually I really slacked it on the lights there. All his texts. Mr. X, he's texting Mr. X? From Resident Evil 2? <laughs> Get it, it's the same name. <sighs> it's like, every time, dude. There he is. This damn power breaker. I need to flip the breaker in the file room closet. I stopped him though. I stopped him so it should count. I stopped him so it should count. Check the lights. That was close. I had to really spam it. He wouldn't stop. Okay, I think I think we're good. He's killed me while the power's out before. Michael Dexter is a shred. Sylvia Osborne, you're not a shred. I can't remember what you have. Okay, I gotta hack into your phone. Uh, <sighs> Damn it. Internet went out again. I need to go reset the router in the back room closet. Just a second. Gotta check on the way back to make sure we're good. All right, we're good. Okay. All right, Sylvia Osborne, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, you're the one that brainwashes people. I got it. I got 29 instant cracks. I'm just gonna start using them. Yeah, we're starting to get to three line ones, which aren't actually that bad. It's just, I've got 29. I might as well start using. Hmm, or maybe, maybe I should really start saving them. I don't know.
Oh. No. Fuck. Alright. She's a shred. That had to have been it. Right? Night six, y'all. Let's go. Alright, we're back. May not seem like it, but it's been about 24 hours since that last bit. Uh, I think I stopped on night six. Apparently, if you go back to the exit, uh, if you go back, ugh. Apparently, if you exit to the main menu, you get a continue, which is kind of nice. So I didn't have to do this all in one. I should get to my computer and get the night started. One sitting. I can spread it out between two sittings, which is good because I came back and I'm feeling fresher. Let's just hope I don't die. Uh, I gotta reopen the closets. It's kind of annoying. I had all of them open. I don't know if it was gonna make a difference or not. See, the uh, triple line ones aren't that bad. Even the ones with four lines aren't that bad. I really think the hardest root kit I've run into in the game is the two line 10 second one. I don't like that. But then again, I haven't made it to like night eight and beyond yet, so maybe there are harder ones. All right. Uh, who is this person again? Laura Kruger. Laura Kruger is kind of difficult because she has exactly four pieces of evidence. She has exactly four pieces of evidence, the three text messages, and then the social media post. Uh... So get... I don't know, I wish that, uh, maybe it was a little easier to, to get her. Gotcha. Okay, that was a very loud audio cue. Did you hear that? That was... That was Tanner in the grass. I heard that clear as day. I've never heard that sound cue before. Dude. I think this is a shred, but I'm gonna double check. Yeah, it's a shred. That's crazy, man. I, I've never heard it that loud before. That must be, that must be what the nerf was referring to when he said he made the when you said he made them very loud, the audio cues, that must be one of the audio cues. It just sounds like grass ruffling, but it's, it's ruffling, rustling. Ah! Caught him at the window. Do you see him at the window? He ran away. Oh, he didn't even unlock it though. Sometimes you can catch him on the camera. Like he'll show up, I'll show you where he shows up sometimes. We gotta get back on the camera anyway to look for Tanner. Right there in the lower left corner, sometimes he'll be down there. So another audio cue that I've noticed, if you hear footsteps. Either a single footstep or several footsteps. It could be either of them. I've had that indicate the kidnapper, and I've also had that indicate Tanner. Seemingly. I've heard those footsteps, and then Tanner's in the yard, but I've also heard those footsteps, and kidnapper's out the window. So... I think, okay, I'm finally figuring out the audio cues. That's nice. Didn't even need the window open. <laughs> For everyone that keeps telling me to do that shit. Alright. I'm just gonna start using Instacracks. There's really no reason not to do it. Uh, pullback pistol. Is that what I had? How to make a silencer. I swear I've gotten this one wrong before. Gotta check the lights. Oh, 
I got one wrong. Was it the Scott McPherson one? Night seven. All right, here we go. Here we here we go. Rather. Ugh. Oh hi. Can't we just? Can we just push this? In front of the closet. We know he's in there. All right, whatever. Oh wait, no. I've already done this. Can I just exit out of it? Oh boy. Let's see. Ray, Eliana, search history. Um, how to get rid of? What the hell? How to cope when someone steals the love of your life is one. Can you make sure your own ricin? I think is another one. Yeah. What? It was going the whole time. Well, now I know. Oof. Honestly, I don't even need to finish the night. Like, I don't even need to do nine reports if I don't want to. Now that I've done, because I've done the minimum six. So I don't actually have to finish all nine reports. I could just walk around. I mean, we're really close, so we might as well do it. But maybe on later nights when the minimum is like 10 and then the go to bed early goal is like 18 or something, maybe that's when we could cut ourselves a break and just, because see, we would just have to do this for hours. <laughs> Ugh, damn it. Internet went out again. I need to go reset the router in the back room closet. Fuck you. As soon as I sat down. By the way, there he was, by the way. Tanner's in the closet, huh? He's also in the front yard. He's in two places at once. I'm still not opening that closet. Until tomorrow. I might do it tomorrow. I ain't doing it today, though. What the hell? What the hell is this? Oh, yeah. He's like, he like mummifies people or something. Yeah, yeah. Preserving human skin. There it is. Can you make leather from human skin? Where is it? Having my own masks from leather. <laughs> All right, bro. Last one, Yumi Karayoma. We got this one filed away now. We should be good. Night eight, gimme. Night eight, let's go guys, let's go. Closet door's open now. Huh, I guess he did that when he left? Weird. <laughs> All right. He's so... he's so polite. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Basically, he's like, I can get inside anytime I want. Anytime I want, I can get inside. <laughs> I know which camera you're gonna look into before you look into it. <laughs> you miss me with that shit. All right, what we got next? Isabella, bye bye. There he is. Oh. Margaret Ridley. Unknown. I was off for my morning jog. I forget what. There are so many of these that sound really similar. There's like, there's one that's like, I was out jogging, and then there's another one that's like, I was out for my morning jog. And I'm like, it's hard to remember which one is which just based off of like what it starts with. So the owl sometimes means that he's in your yard, but other times it doesn't. 
Very unhelpful. I heard it. I heard it. That's a good thing about the light in that room. It rarely goes off, but when it does, you can hear it. Two lights off. Okay. Two lights off at once. Sometimes that happens. Okay, so once one goes off... Because what I was doing before, and I think this got me killed a few times, is... When one light went off, I'd be like, okay, that's my one light, and then I wouldn't check the rest of them. But you need to check the entire house. Even if you've already gotten the one that just went off. Dahlia Jones. How many times have we done Dahlia Jones? Oh my god. Didn't do a new search. God. I swear, sometimes he gets in without actually... It's just because you get up. That's pretty much it. I don't I don't think when he appears in the closet like that, it's because he ran in and you didn't catch him on the cameras. I think he just... I think it's just a random event that can happen when you go to the back end of the hallway. Because there was no audio cue and I checked the camera right before I got up. So I think it's just a random thing. Light's gonna go out soon and I might be at my computer when it happens. So I'm gonna check again before I end the night. you run away all right get out guys you guys won't leave me alone <laughs> come on night nine please don't kill me in my sleep please I just I just night nine. Oh my god here we are Eight thirty seven PM. That's pretty quick. Retainer to appear. <laughs> Instant crack that. No thanks. There he is. You can see him on the cameras. Holy shit. So you, hear, you heard the, uh, the grass? That can mean Tanner or it can mean the kidnapper. That time it meant the kidnapper. And you saw him on the camera, right? Oof, dude. Night nine is rough so far. Making it through though. You know, the go-to-bed early quota and the minimum quota are now the same. I guess that's intentional? It's so you don't have to do like 18 cases on the later nights, maybe? I don't know. I mean, I... Don't get me wrong, I appreciate it. I guess that was part of the nerf patch. It's also so people don't lame it out. They just do the minimum and then they wait around till 4 a.m. Oh. Caught it as it was happening. There he is, the owl.
So that time... That time the owl meant nothing. So it doesn't always mean... That they're trying to break into your house. Or that they're in your yard or whatever. Weird. The owl... I don't get the owl. Oh, please be a shred. You are a shred. I had to double check, make sure. I heard it. I heard the light bulb. Not gonna let this ruin... Ruin it for us now. Night 10, just around the corner. Dude, I almost opened up that closet. That would have been bad. Oh, two at once. Two at once, bro. All right, I'm gonna shred this one, and then we're at night 10. RNG gods, don't, don't do it. Oh, night 10. I need to take like a stress break. Oh, if I can't feed it here. I think this is the, this is the last run either way. <laughs> if I don't beat it, if I don't beat it, <laughs> just, I'm just going to stop playing anyway. Okay. It's been a couple hours, but I'm back now. All right, so we're on night 10. Let's do this. Right. I can't remember if I did that before I left or not. Night 10. Let's go. I unlocked it. Nerves are taking over. I'm really surprised all the lights are on so far. What? All the lights are on and all the windows are locked. Did I luck out? Why did I want that? I don't want that. Maria Batansis. All right, let's look her up. She is a shred. Should have known. Van Atwell. I have I ever run into this person? I have. There he is. Get it. Oh, it's fast. Dude, it's fast. Okay. So this is what night 10 is like, huh? Let's go. Bring it on. All right. I'm, I'm on top of this so far. What time is it even? 8.38, yeah. Already had light turn off and Tanner come in. Okay, yeah. Let's go. I've got 23 instant cracks, so... Let's get this bread. Look at that. Five lines. You got 40 seconds to do it, though. The, honestly, it's not even... It's not even difficult. It's just, like... It's a lot of time. We got four out of ten. We got four out of ten, and we have we have three freebies to give. I'll show you what I mean by that later. I'm gonna go on a shredding spree towards the end of the night because we got some we got some uh, we got some free free room. There's a garbage truck outside right now. It's really f freaking. It's screwing with me, because I hear the garbage truck. And I... If there are audio cues... Do we have to do this right now? Do we have to do this right now? Dude, I swear. Doesn't he know that I'm on night 10 of scrutinize right now? Super inconsiderate. It's like he doesn't even... It's like he didn't even ask. He didn't even check. Fucking garbage truck again. The 
there he is! He was still there. You still there, huh? He was still there, even if I- even though I shined the light. Even though the light was on. It wasn't until I came up to the- the window that he went away. Asshole. I got a strat though. See, we got 5 out of 10. When we get to 7 out of 10 completed, I'm just gonna shred three documents and then the night will be over. That's my- that's what- that's what you aim for. I just want to make sure I'm getting the right ones. Learning to act normal. Okay, I'd say on night 10, pretty much, what you want to do... After every case, you want to check... Uh, before and after every case, you want to check the cameras and check all the lights. Although, I'm getting a little paranoid. Beverly, by the way, is a shred. Yeah, I see you. Hi, Tanner. I'm gonna double check that, actually. I gotta be sure. Yeah, she is. Okay. Are you fucking... I gotta check again. Because sometimes two lights go out at once, I'm pretty sure. I don't- I don't know that for certain. But it just kind of feels like it. Okay. Okay, actually... We got that one wrong, but it doesn't matter. One last time. One last time. This is it, guys. Thanks. This is it, this is it, this is it, this is it. Are you ready? I'm making sure I'm still recording. This took so long. Okay, yeah, yeah. Shred. It was wrong, but it doesn't matter. What's up? One second thought. Let's talk. Hello? I don't think I was supposed to see below the map. That was Tanner, I think. He said, on second thought, let's talk. This is the ending, all right. <coughs> Exposition dump. It's about time you woke up. I admit, I am no master chemist, but one wouldn't expect the average dose of midazolam would have such a lingering effect on a woman of your age. It's not like you're that old. I hope you're still capable of speech despite the side effects. I hear euphoria is one of them, so you're welcome. You... drugged me. No, oh, only enough to drag your body out of bed through your front door and take you all the way down here. It's easier to talk business when we're alone. Wouldn't want someone to interrupt our conversations, would we? What? What the fuck do you mean? You pulled me out of bed and for what? What are you? 
let's begin with the introductions. Seeing as how I already know so much about you, Luna, it would be rude to keep you further in the dark. My name is Tanner, and it is a pleasure. We already Tanner. knew that. I looked at the oh. achievements and found okay, out. Now. What do you want from me? By the tremble in your voice, I can tell you're worried about being violated and beaten, perhaps eaten alive. Understandable, given all the vile, incompetent people you've uncovered so far. Please, just let me go. Hopefully we won't be here long. Now tell me, you've spent so much time combing through the lives of those around you. Transactions, personal pictures, private conversations. And for what? What do you mean, for what? I've made progress. I've He's got a point. still don't know who he is. Drugs will be wearing off very soon, Luna. But I have a funny feeling you'll want to stay right where you are, won't you? The Blue Blood Killer. The very same. Why would you tell me anything about him? Why would I trust you? I haven't killed you, have I? Aside from a little hematoma beneath your ear and some lingering, very mild effects of the sedative I injected, I've been rather kind. Generous, don't you think? You sound like Doesn't an anime answer, villain, dude. To help me. Call it my way of rewarding you for all your hard work. It takes skill to do what you do. Initiative and dedication. All things that are sorely missing from the average denizen, wasting away their lives accomplishing nothing. I'm to believe you invaded my privacy, drugged me, and kidnapped me because you admire my... my... Your crime watch program, yes. You're much more humble than I initially thought, but you really should take credit where it's due. It's all very impressive. Thank you. Yes, that's very polite of you. Very polite. Here. This folder contains all what? the information your little bleeding heart may desire. You've spent so long looking for the blue blood killer, and now you'll find him with this. Scrutinize too! <sighs> Here, take it! <laughs> Smack. I've been trying to find him for so long. How do you have this information? Where did you- uh, I happen to know some rather important people. The people that know most everything worth knowing. And they didn't go to the police with this? Why give it away for free when you can sell it to the highest bidder? Or better yet- Well, you're giving it to me for free. Like me indebted to someone like Adam. Adam? Mm-hmm. Not a man you want to owe favors to. But I suppose you're lucky I like you so much. It's all Welcome here. to the game universe. It's really, really all here? Everything. Great, Tanner, let's look at it. I... What's with the syringe, dude? Don't worry, you'll wake up right when I found you. With all your precious evidence so very safe and sound beside you. I didn't go through all this trouble for nothing after all. Until next time, Luna. Ah, to be continued. Okay, wait. Wait, 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 wait. So this is either I'm taking the headphones off because I have volume at a hundred. I'm sure the music, I'm sure the credits music is great, but I can't deal with it right now. Um, so wait, is that to be continued like in the nightmare difficulty ending? Nightmare is 14 nights long. Um, or like a Scrutinize 2, because I think it's already been confirmed there's not going to be a Scrutinize 2. All right. Well, great. So, Scrutinized. What, are my, what do I think about Scrutinize now that I've played through the whole thing? Gotten the normal ending. I've got a, a database with... All 200 cases written down and all the evidence and everything. Um, played it enough for that. I think it's fair to say I can give a, a pretty informed opinion on the game. Um, let's start with the good things about Scrutinized. So, there's, there's a lot of things I like about Scrutinized. I like the case solving. I like the main gameplay loop 
more than I do Welcome to the Game. I think that uh, sorting through these cases and determining whether or not somebody is guilty or innocent, hacking their phone, looking through their private information, uh, it can be pretty creepy at times, and it's a lot more involved than like just scouring deep web pages for little codes. Basically, it's like um, detective work versus pixel hunting. Not to, you know, not to not to trivialize the main gameplay loop of uh, Welcome to the Game 2 or anything, but because Welcome to the Game 2, I think, is a, a better game than this. You know, so I'm not I'm not like you know saying anything bad about Welcome to the Game. But I do think that the main gameplay loop for this is more interesting and just overall better than that. Uh, with that said, I do wish that it would be more central to the gameplay than uh, avoiding the killers. I think the killers are a little too active and it kind of, it means that in order to beat the game, you kind of have to just know the cases to go through them quickly enough to get on the cameras or to go check the lights to keep the killers at bay and not die. If you actually try to play through the game, solving each case like, oh, I've never seen this one before, and then you take the next two hours of in-game time to hack and look through evidence and then, you know, come up with the correct uh, submission, then you're probably going to, Tanner's probably going to kill you if you do that on night nine or night ten. So it, 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 that is unfortunately a it, it's it's kind of counterproductive I think the game's difficulty versus the detective solving because it, it, they kind they're kind of at odds with each other I think detective mode is a great solution for it but at the same time um, I kind of wish there was a better balance but anyway I said I was gonna start with the good stuff first so there's that and then uh, I like the killers I like that the kidnappers back. I think he's a little more interesting than he was in Welcome to the Game. Although I do kind of miss the location services icon popping up. I like Tanner as a character. I don't so much like looking for him on the cameras and using the light to scare him off. Uh, but I like him as a character. And so basically I like the main gameplay loop. I like the characters, you know, that that's, that's the good stuff for scrutinized for me. Uh, the bad stuff. I think 10 nights is way too long. I think it should be fewer nights for normal. Just my opinion. Too late now to do anything, but uh, it's it's a little long to be to be playing. I mean, I've it took me a couple hours to get through 10 nights. Uh, that's a long time to play the game with permadeath on. I also think maybe the killers should have been staggered a little bit, kind of like Five Nights at Freddy's, where the first three nights only the kidnapper is active, and then Tanner comes in at night four through six or something, and then the final night is night seven, where there's a, a third killer that's active. That would have been, I think, more interesting to play through than ten nights of the same thing, just progressively difficult. The killers get faster. Um, Overall, I, I, I think it's just, it's a little too long and it's a little too repetitive. But I do really like the main gameplay loop and I like detective mode. I just wish that there was a better balance between the game's difficulty and playing detective. Because I think, it, it, it's like, it, the game's got a great atmosphere, but it doesn't always have enough time to settle in. Especially in the later nights, because you're just constantly... Getting up, checking the light, coming back, checking the camera, you know, hacking into the phone, dragging the evidence in real quick, checking the camera, going to check the light, getting back. It's like the pace is a little too quick sometimes for the atmosphere to settle in. But, uh, you know, I don't want to sit here and just act like I'm bashing the game. I enjoyed it. I think it's good. It's just, it's not, it's not as good as Welcome to the Game 2, and I... I wish that some things were different about its design, but you know, on the other hand, there's no other games out there like this. There's no home invasion horror games are basically non-existent outside of Welcome to the Game and and this game. Uh, there's there's a couple like Clean Suit and Babysitter Bloodbath and like a couple of like really bad Itchio games that I've played that are home invasion horror, but uh, yeah, not, none of them are like this. So I still really like it for that. But uh, yeah, uh, on that note, I think I'm done playing Scrutinize. I don't plan on going for nightmare difficulty ending or anything like that. Uh, I think I'm good for now and I'm gonna move on to other games, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed the series. A lot of people are really into it. Thank you for making this the most successful series in the history of my channel, by the way. Um, it's been really great. 
And I'm hoping to uh, try to make videos a little more regularly again, like I did before. So yeah, let me know what you thought about this series, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.